Hey guys, it's Casey. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm here with a finally, you guys know, right? An L3 pre-order haul. Um, I want you to see like her little sticker says, warning, contents are extremely awesome and result in your total delight. And any of you who are L3 obsessed know exactly what that means. Um, so L3 um, is a company that um, obviously is well loved, but one of the things that's awesome about L3 is that they constantly have, they're like constantly restocking, constantly pouring wax. So we constantly have a bunch of things to choose from. So um, this is the first time I've ever ordered a pre-order from her. So normally um, she has a pre-order, um, I mean, normally she has a ready to ship a couple of times a month with a ton of stuff and everything goes super quick. Um, and that's how I've always ordered. And so this is my very first pre-order from her. Um, I ordered it on July 1st. Today is August 21st. So um, that's within her turnaround time. She always sends three samples. So this one is Pennywise. Smells like apple and a smoky note. Um, this is Beach Nights. I've smelled her Beach Nights many times before. This one's really light. It must be pretty poured, poured pretty newly, um, but that's salty sea air and um, like marshmallowish. This is Roasted Coffee White Elephant Exchange. So White Elephant Exchange is like her, like a vanilla bakery thing. Mostly get her coffee in that. So those are the samples. And then small steps are also progress. Love that. So I, I actually felt really good about my order because I just did not go super crazy. And that always makes me proud when it comes to L3 because it's super easy to go super crazy. Um, so I ordered um, one sampler, two scoops, and one, um, one owl. So I'll show you the owl first. It's Ravenclaw. And I just had never tried this before. I love all of her Harry Potter scents. Mm, this smells like rain and it's very fresh. Almost has that kind of, um, she has an oil called Riverstone. I don't think it's in here, but it kind of has that like um, smell and kind of a mossy smell. It's really nice, very nice. So I just, I hadn't had Ravenclaw before and um, it was poured. So I got her pride scoop, which is going to be really, really hard for me to break into this, but this is cookie therapy craze. Um, and it smells a lot like her blackberry. Um, I don't know. I don't know what the notes are. Um, but it does smell a lot like blackberry and a little bit of vanilla cookie. And then White Elephant Exchange, I've never had this on its own and I just wanted to try it out. It smells pretty light actually. I think it's like donut holes, maybe cake pops or white cake, birthday cake. I mean, it smells really nice like vanilla confection, but it's pretty light. And so then the sampler I got was the Kalachi sampler. And I just really, I had not smelled any kolache from her, but being a, um, we live um, really close to a small German town and kolaches are really big here. So um, I just, I wanted to smell all things kolache. So the first one is White Elephant Exchange kolache and her samplers are always in, she does one like chunky bunt. So, mm, okay. So it's very, um, very buttery, very doughy with that like vanilla cake note. That one smells really good. Um, and then this one is lemon poppy seed kolaches. And I really like her lemon poppy seed because I really like the lemon. It can sometimes read on cold, like, um, almost like pledge, but 
I know when you warm it, that poppy seed gives it like almost like a nuttiness almost. Just like in the very background. But that's very good. I don't smell a lot of kolache on that. It smells mostly like the lemon poppy seed, which I still really love. This one is strawberry kolaches. Okay, so this is not her strawberry jam. This is her strawberry oil, which to me is actually kind of candied strawberry and like a little bit overly sweet to me. And again, I don't get very much kolache in that one. So this is cookie therapy kolaches, which is Santa's on keto pretzel shortbread. Mm, okay, that one's pretty good. Um, so I get a lot of the pretzel actually. Um, I get a lot of the pretzel with like just a little bit of like vanilla bakery. I still don't get a lot of kolache in that one. This is lemon cream pie kolaches. Hmm, let me see if I can smell a difference. I can. Okay, so lemon poppy seed and lemon cream pie do smell different. Lemon cream pie is more creamy. And the lemon is is similar smelling lemon, but like a little more sugared. Again, not a lot of kolache. The one that I've smelled kolache on the most is the um, white, Elf white elephant exchange kolaches. Green apple brown Betty kolaches. Mmm, the green apple is really good. Yeah, that one's really good. Okay, I love her green apple. I haven't had this before. Very nice. So the green apple is really bright, kind of um, tangy in the back of your mouth. Very nice. Pistachio ice cream kolaches. Okay, don't like pistachio, but pistachio ice cream is totally different to me. But this is still very cherry which is not my jam. And again, I'm not getting a lot of the kolache. Tell me if you guys got this kolache sampler, if you are smelling a lot of the kolache, because I really am smelling the other oil, but not really kolache. And I don't know if kolache is just not very strong. White Elephant Exchange, I guess, is not very strong, so maybe that's why I smell that one so much more. And this one is bl Blueberry Berry Waffle Cone Kolaches. And I get blueberry heavy and then in the background just like a hint of that like vanilla waffle cone smell but again no kolaches so I um l3 pours and pours and pours and pours and pours it is completely within the realm of possibility that um that these need cure time I don't know when they might have been poured so um that is my that is my whole thing so um, let me know if you guys got the kolache sampler. I really want to hear from you guys because um, everything else smells pretty strong. Um, but the kolache oil, I mean, all the other oils smell good, but they just don't smell like kolaches. So I'm interested to know if you guys get the kolache note. And if you do, what you think. What did you get from L3? Um, did you go in on her ready to ship that just happened? If so, what'd you get? Let me know. Talk to y'all later. Bye, y'all.